In previous video, we have created a REST API which will handle the path variable in a request. In this video, we are going to create a REST API which will handle a request params or query parameters. Okay, let me write a comment here. Build a REST API to handle query parameters. Okay. All right, so probably you, can, you have seen the URL, this kind of URL, right? HTTP and then localhost 8080 slash let's say student and then here first name equals to Ramesh. Okay, so probably you have seen the URL, this kind of URL, right? question mark after that key value pair first name equal to Ramesh so after question mark you can see here first name equal to Ramesh right so this is nothing but your query parameter so this is how we define a query parameter this is your rest endpoint URL after that question mark and then key value pair okay so this kind of URL or the client uh, you know uses and uh, in real time project you may see this kind of uh, you know urls so as a developer we need to write, write a rest api to handle this kind of request all right so just uh, you know understand the difference between path variable and query param here so in case of path variable you don't find question mark okay after student you can see here one okay or any other values like uh, you can define an integer or a string etc you can see after question mark you can see key, pair, key value pair key and then value and you can define multiple query parameters for example after after key post key, key value pair we can give ampersand and then last name equals to further something like this okay so let's go and let's write a rest api to handle this kind of request let's say public and this meta return student object and let's say get let's say method name as student query param something like that okay and this method takes two arguments let's say string first name and then string last name and simply return object of student here student and then pass first name here first name comma last name okay perfect now we have created a method which returns object of student let's annotate this method with at get at get mapping annotation okay and just give a uri for this rest api slash student okay now if let's say client you know we access this rest api with this url and this url contains first name and last name as a query parameters right so in order to handle these query parameters in a REST API, we need to use at request param annotation. Okay. So let me write the, let me call here the annotation at request param annotation. All right. If you can just read the Java doc here, this annotation indicates that a method parameter should be bound to web request param. So this is nothing but your web request parameter or query parameter. All right, understood. So this is nothing but your web request parameter or query parameter. And we use at request param annotation to bind the value of this web request parameter to method variable or a method argument. Okay, and we need to provide a name for this web request param that is first name all right so this is the first name right let me copy and paste here 
and similarly in order to bind the value of this web request param to method variable we're going to use at request param annotation and we need to provide a web request param name here equals to last name okay great perfect now what we're going to do is we're going to run our spring boot application and let's see how this rest api works let me stop the server let me run our spring boot application again Okay, you can see here we got a error right slash student so there is already a bin method or a method handler which will handle a slash student rest api okay so look at here we need to provide a different you know name for this rest api so always remember each and every resource that we define uh, in our application should be unique uh, have a unique URI path right so what I will do I will just to, in order to distinguish uh, what I will do I will provide here slash query okay now if you run your spring boot application you won't get any error because each and every rest API should have unique URI path okay so let me run the spring boot application Okay, so remember these all all the points. Okay, in, when we develop a real time projects, uh, these errors uh, will you know help you to understand the error and fix the error. All right, our Spring Boot application is up and running. Let's head over to browser and go to new tab. Just type localhost eighty eighty, and then student slash query. And after that, uh, how we can add a query parameter here? We need to use question mark. And then a web request variable name that is first name okay first name is Ramesh after that in order to define a second query param or a second web request add ampersand and then last name equals to for the day and hit enter and there we go we got a success response from the rest API first name Ramesh last name for the day all right it means that our rest api is working as expected and uh, yeah all right so i hope you understood how we can you know add a how we can write a rest api which will handle the query parameters or web request parameters in a request uri path all right so this is how we write a rest api okay so this is how we write a rest api to handle a request client request which contains a query parameters okay great so let me summarize what we have done we have created a method which returns a student object and this method takes two arguments first name last name and we have annotated this method with add get mapping annotation all right and we have used add request param annotation to bind the value of a request param or a query param to the method argument so this is very important and we have run our spring boot application and we have tested from the browser okay and we we got a success response that is a json from the rest api here we can change the query parameter values like let's say john okay and the last name cena and there we go first name john last name cena so we have written a rest api which dynamically returns a json object right all right this is how we write a rest api which will handle the query params or web request param in a client request okay great i will see you in the next video